Notice that one of the things here that Dennis and Angelina keep mentioning is the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. And I remember when they first started talking to me about it, I, you know, so, yeah, in fact, I actually enrolled in that about 20 years ago. I just came across it at the time, and it was the U.S., and I told we enrolled through the U.S., sent in the letter. And it's a very simple promise. All you're promising is to pray one full rosary a week, you know, so just three or four rosaries a week. And then all of the promises that are attached to that. But the reason that Dennis and Angelina are promoting this is that it plays a pivotal role in why how God raised up this little tiny church to be a national shrine. This is what Father Luke de Salle understood is that it was the enrollment in the confraternity got 3,000 parishioners to enroll. And, and so the question is, okay, so why is the confraternity of the Holy Rosary so powerful? And I mean, if we're already praying our rosaries anyways, what does it mean to enroll in a spiritual association? There's no meetings. There's no, there's no, uh, it's, why, why do that? And it's because of the ecclesial dimension of what it means to belong to a confraternity. You see, in our church, the public official prayer of our church is the divine liturgy that we have in the, in the sacraments and in the divine office. And then outside of the public official prayer of the church, you have all these devotions in our church. And there's no doubt that the most holy rosary is the most indulgence recognized devotion in the church promoted by popes and saints you know throughout the ages but then on top of that promotion of a devotion which and devotion often means it's the personal devotion that we pray that we enter into you don't have to do it but you're strongly encouraged to do it and there's tremendous graces when you enroll in the confraternity you're taking that personal devotion that you have to our lady and you are uniting it now with an ecclesial recognition. <coughs> Confraternity is recognized by the church. You could say it's the highest recognition the church can give to a devotion. And it's the highest way of participating in the graces of that devotion. When you enroll in the confraternity, as they've been telling us, you share in the graces of all the other members and their rosaries and their offerings. So even though the act is so simple, you just have to sign on the dotted line <laughs> and enroll and promise, not even under pain of sin. You don't have to worry if you fail to pray a full rosary one week. It doesn't mean you, you're dropped out, you're fired, you know. <laughs> But it means you share in, again, the promises themselves are wonderful, but it's because you are, it is, you are uniting with the church. It's a, a, an official level. You see, it's the most official level the church can grant to the devotion. Again, these are just kind of intuitions or insights that I was getting, because again, I, I initially, I didn't quite get it too, you know, Dennis and Angela talk about the show, and the confraternity, confraternity, I'm kind of going, why, why are you getting so excited about the confraternity? I, I don't get it. You see? And I guess it's part of the secret. <laughs> so, so, if you, if you get it, so that's the thing. So, I, there better not be anyone here now, this weekend, who hasn't been holding the confraternity yet, right? <laughs> You're never forced, it's all in <laughs> But that's the reason. It's, to, it's, it's an international confraternity with ecclesial recognition. So it brings an ecclesial dimension. It unites us as Catholics. See, our faith is not just private and personal. It's meant to be corporate and ecclesial. That's what enrollment in the confraternity will obtain for us. That's what I understood finally, and I hope you're getting it too. <laughs> it's amazing if you think about this priest, Father Luke de Sadat, a humble priest with basically a parish that was deader than a doornail, and he goes in and he finds his pig chewing on the rosary. That's like our world today. It's like the world is chewing on a rosary, like, like the swine. And what did he do? He made one little vow.
vow that Father Roger just so eloquently said. He said, just start enrolling in the confraternity. And that's what transformed that place to in 1954, a million pilgrims went in pilgrimage. And now, what is happening in this day is Our Lady is recreating and resurrecting this movement. And we are all being written into this story in our day. Thank you. 